It was the night before Christmas, and all through a stable a man was attempting to construct a table. In spite of his skill at the carpentry trade, his tools on a workbench in Nazareth were laid. The manger, in which all the fodder was scattered, seemed solid enough, and that was what mattered, for that was the main thing, a solid, safe cradle was needed in case of a birth in that stable. But Joseph got busy and lashed up some poles and some planks with some rope that he'd found by the foals, and managed to make a table quite steady and sturdy enough in case Baby was ready. The night passed, and Jesus was born in that place. The table lay unused, but stood just in case. Visitors came and were slightly perplexed. When attempting to use it, young Joseph got vexed. The point of the table was not clear to them, was not clear to Joseph, nor all Bethlehem. But Joseph was certain, could feel in his gut, that a table was key to events in this hut. The women said, typical, building and fussing and making that thing while Mary was pushing. Joseph, however, stayed faithful and still, content in his knowledge that this was God's will. Joseph had heard the right message, it's true, and acted upon it, but hadn't a clue that his timing was out. No table required for the birth of God's son, whom the shepherds admired. But the body and blood came to earth on that day, in that stable, in the form of a babe in the hay. And the table came later. It bore bread and wine. When Christ died for all, it remained as a sign.